house, Quarters 24, is actually one of the older houses on Fort Riley. So a lot of the houses in this area do have their own little spirits. Built in 1855, there's no doubt the Custer House has a few stories inside its walls. Restored and furnished to depict life for General George Armstrong Custer, the building is filled with genuine artifacts from the past, certain ones known to be more animated than others. We have a teddy bear that lives upstairs. Every night, the PFC that was in charge of opening the Custer House Museum every day and locking it every night, she would put it lovingly in the middle of the bed. Every morning when she would come back, it would be moved to the rocking horse. Sometimes the rocking horse would be rocking on its own. One account alone doesn't make a legend but multiple workers have reported finding the bear in other areas over the years, movements sometimes attributed to previous tenants that passed away suddenly. Most of the people in the 1855 uh, cholera epidemic died, and they died very quickly. And so, obviously, there's been a lot of people that have not quite moved on. And while the teddy bear story is well known, it's just one of many haunting tales told on Fort Riley's annual ghost tour October 23rd an event that's open to the public. I hope that we get even more people than we had in the last couple of years because it's the 20th anniversary tour. 20 years we've been doing this. You will have spirits that will reside. Sometimes they're friendly and sometimes they aren't. Reporting from Fort Riley, this is Jake Faber.